as everyone knows, we had uh, Michael Lele as standard for this event due to Pith's injury, and I think he did an awesome job this entire event. He uh, did his role perfectly. I had a talk with him for every map, so he really knew what he was supposed to do in our game plan, and it just worked out perfectly. Uh, I was actually surprised when I worked from home during Star Series. I, actually, I think I actually put in more hours than I would have done if I was actually at the event because I was never interrupted by admins doing photo shoot, doing anything else that you have to do at an event. I could solely focus on watching dem demos this entire weekend. I think I watched demos for maybe at least 10 to 15 hours this weekend. Having Threat not being at the tournament um, was, was going to be a new thing, but he managed to do a really good job in terms of studying opponents and really giving us some key notes. Our ex expectations for uh, the tournament wasn't that high up. Yeah, we were forced to have a standing for the tournament because of Pitt's injury. Playing with Michael is uh, it, it, it's some special in a way because we know him since before and he's always been a nice friend of mine and I, I, I like him as a person a lot so it was it was a good standing for us to have on the tournament and he performed well. Um, I don't really have anything negative to say about it. It's just positive things. He he played his heart out. Playing with Michael uh, was fun. Uh, it felt it felt good to be winning a tournament as well with Michael. Uh, I think people, at least us, uh, in the past, we should have at least won a few tournaments there, which we lost uh, close. So it felt felt kind of justified that we got to lift the trophy with Michael, uh, one that we didn't lift before and. Uh, it felt pretty good, and it did a tremendous job as a stand. It seems like we had a pretty good day, both for the days we had a group stage, and we didn't really have any difficulties in general. Of course, the first game against Hellraisers were a little bit annoying, because we didn't start well in the beginning, but... Yeah, we managed to come first in the group, so we're happy with it. This is in a one versus one, not a scenario that should have come out of this round, and actually he's going to clutch it out, so... Running all the way in, barrels onto the side, finds one and two, that yeah, The Hellbrisk game didn't turn out to be a uh, easy one in the beginning at least. Uh, we uh, were have very comfortable with how the T-side ended, so at CT we just had a control. That's what I felt like. Against Godsend, getting overpass was a pretty decent pick for us because we we, f we thought before the game that they don't really have too much things on it and we have not too much, not too little. We, we're gonna give everything and we just pretty much uh, kill them everywhere on the SEC side. We didn't really have any big problems. After we beat Gods, and it was uh, a weird feeling. Uh, I was hoping for a more in like intense game. Obviously, I want to win, but uh, it was 
too comfortable almost. They didn't perform the well that they should be. Uh, but they have just started a team, so anything could happen, you know. Going into the Astralis game, uh, it's always a fun matchup for us to play. Uh, it always turns out to be a bit close, like close games and really exciting uh, games to play. Uh, even though they stomped us the first uh, first map, uh, which kind of took us off guard a bit. Uh, Undust 2, Device uh, had a really good game on the first half. Uh, I think it was destroying us. He had like over 20 kills the first game, uh, first half. They were leading 11-4 and things started to look a bit grim. Once we managed to come back from that, uh, we were just in a very good state of mind and uh, were able to win overpass as well. hard time in the beginning but then some sort of a power we found in inside ourselves and we turned the game around and we just start playing like we wanted to and go into the last one which we were also overpassed like I guess a godsend we felt pretty confident and we have beaten Astralis before on overpass so we know pretty much how they're playing it and we know that we had like this some sort of a X factor and that's Michael Ellie because people are not used to play against him that much on overpass since he hasn't played official games since Mars so we continue to <laughs> having more than a year now track record on land against them and winning all the games so it's nice. In the semi-final we played against Cloud9 which uh, was an exciting game as well. Uh, we haven't played them for a long long time and they've been putting up some good work, uh, uh, some good results uh, overall in terms of LAN and online in the over in North America. So we were a bit anxious to see how they how they would play and what we could do against them. And it turned out that we had their numbers beat. Uh, it was a quite comfortable win overall. Never really felt any danger at all, so it was smooth sailing. NIP, they have taken this one, they win their semi-final, and they are on to that grand final. Wow. Uh, G2 is uh, one of those teams uh, lately who has been performing uh, really good, at least when Shox turns up uh, 
to play and Scream is there to back him up, uh, they are a formidable uh, opponent to play against and uh, I think they've proven it in the past as well that they can uh, really be the number one team in the world. Playing against the French guys in the final was, uh, was a nice feeling to know that you could play against them because I don't think we have a pretty good track record over them, so it was really good to get uh, some sort of an advantage over them. And both skills coming in for an IP. Very efficient stuff from them. Trying to push into the board with that deep KO down. And Forrest through the smoke. He's got shocks. Yeah, he's getting pumped up before we like to see from Forrest. He's in the corner. Oh. But Michael Lele's hit shocks up close. And Michael Lele's got body down as well. Down with the AK. Apparently he finds two kills out of nowhere. This could be a four on two and body. He goes down as well. Exists going absolutely ham right now. Forrest stepping up once again, four kills for him, holding strong behind that ABC area as well. One, he's just got the other, and Michael Lele's still in behind that front position, he's got a second! This time he might get the three lays, he's all there! And Michael Lele's absolutely on fire once again on overpass, he said he was going to this team, oh, and it's four kills for Michael Lele! Stepping up again on overpass! Late, but it's there toward the catwalk, that's going to allow Forrest to push up with bomb in hand. He's got to try and get to the default plant. He's got to hold off RPK. Good shot through the smoke. Good read from Michael Lele spotting the tracers. But Smiths, he's got a shot on the window on the MVP. That's going to allow shots to get closer. Forrest says absolutely not. And bye bye to Scream as well at the same hand. Oh, wow. Wow. The entrance is for five. But again, can he just break out of his box? He's actually taking a very good position. He's still got Forrest. Oh, wow. ready for it. I thought for sure he'd be watching Gore if he left the site. And two two lanes. He came for his two. And it's NIP on the reunion, on the brink of sealing the Star Series Championship in two straight now. There's no kid either. Ten seconds he made to that. It's the next hit. It's NIP. And they've done it in two. Two men, two overtimes, and a clean sweep for the second one. As the Swede, first time back with Michael Ely. It's actually funny that it's worse watching the game from home than being in the booth with them because when you're in the booth you actually have some kind of control but when I'm sitting here at home I just have to see the events unfold in front of me and I was jumping around in my sofa I barely couldn't watch my TV during the overtime on overpass and it was just an amazing feeling when they won. <laughs> when we stood there as winners and we got to look the trophy once again this year uh, it's a feeling that it's so, so, so hard uh, to describe, but uh, it feels like we came through as a team and as friends and the whole thing NFP stands for is we just managed to do everything. It all paid off and we could lift the trophy once again.